Harry Institute tutorial on Robocode. In this tutorial, we're going to look at a robot that has a sophisticated scanning mechanism for tracking and firing. The robot is called Tracker, and we're going to see how it behaves by actually loading into a battle. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to select Track Fire, a sample robot that tracks and fires at the nearest robot it sees. We're going to add that. We're also going to add Target and we're going to click on start battle as you can see track fire has locked on and it is just continuing to fire continuously now it's detected as moved and it continues to shoot and very quickly it eliminates target however track fire isn't invincible and there are a number of things to consider so in the second battle I'm going to remove target and I'm going to put in my first robot. And we're going to see some of the problems that Trackfire actually has. So here we see Trackfire versus my first robot. And because my first robot does a small bit of movement around, Trackfire is having a problem getting in hits the whole time. However, because my first robot was down in the bottom corner of the screen, it was not able to dodge very well. Here it has, hopefully, and a small bit more room to move around, so it, now it has ne negotiated its way into the center of the screen. And when my first robot is in the center of the screen, it is quite good at actually dodging bullets. However, if it hits the wall, my first robot, where it gets stuck in a corner, there is no code to say what to do. So we will stop this battle, and we will now review the code behind track fire. Let's go file open belongs to the sample package and we select track fire click open and we have a look at the code again package sample this is part of the sample package therefore the code resides in the sample folder from below the robots folder which is below the robocode folder it imports some colors and you can use colors if you want and it sets the body color to pink the gun color to pink the radar color to pink actually it sets everything to pink the bullets and scan. You do have the ability to change these colors if you don't like pink. So what does it do? It turns 10 degrees to the right and it's a very small turn. Some may argue that the strategy is a problem if it's on the left but because it just turns a small amount it doesn't spend a lot of time looking around so that gives it more time to do other things. So what's it going to do here? Well it's going to calculate the exact location of the robot by getting its heading and getting its bearing and then subtracting that from the gun heading which is the bearing from the gun and figuring out how much to turn the gun and if it's if the gun does not need to be turned less than five degrees it says let's turn that amount and fire while the gun heat, and we check the gun heat, we actually fire. If the gun overheats, we must stop. If we lose it, we then have to turn the gun to actually detect. And if we lose it again, if we see a robot, we scan again. So, unscanned robot does a nice algorithm to detect, to check for overheating, make sure it doesn't happen, to fire and then to actually turn the gun and to keep a lock on the device. Because it generates a pretty good lock and every time you turn the gun it, it will generate a new scan event if it scans it again. And then if it wins it turns right and does a, a nice little spin to show off that it actually won. So track fire has a nice u u routine for detection. And this is something you could use in your own entry in Robocode, possibly. And the idea is maybe to take some of these methods, functions, and ideas and implement them in your own robot. And that concludes this tutorial.